Well, there are two elements to that. I think one is that earnings per share come down a lot. Uh, they come down a lot for us more than consensus. I think consensus was a little bit stale and didn't reflect the higher price phones that Apple introduced in, in September. The other angle is that the multiple comes down decently. I think when you have a situation where there's a little less certainty about the growth prospects for the iPhone, I think naturally the multiples compress. So we, we took a bite out of our multiple this to, morning. To what? We're 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Yeah. Uh, Jim, it doesn't sound like you've gone quite that far, but uh, I mean, how low is too low for a name that is often called uh, the last bastion of safety in big tech? Well, for us, it's important to set the stage of where the stock was up a whopping 31% year to date. So for us, the pullback today is pretty healthy. But we take a look at Apple and we see the lack of disclosure as the biggest negative today. And investors have to work through that. They're going to say this is a negative. There's no way away from that. We do think that Apple is held mostly by value investors. And we agree that indeed the valuation isn't as cheap as it used to be. But we still see growth for the company in areas such as India and places like that where they're working with the governments to open up local stores and to get around some of these tariff issues. So we still like the stock here, but the pullback today is pretty healthy, we think. Why is the lack of disclosure necessarily a bad thing? I'm just thinking back to, you know, I cover Nike, and they told us a few years ago that futures orders were no longer relevant, that direct-to-consumer was going to be a much bigger chunk of the business, and futures orders don't tell the story of growth, and then they just kind of conditioned analysts and investors to get away from them, and it worked. Why isn't that the case here? Well, what we think is really it's the change in behavior that investors will have to get over. And that change in behavior was showcasing all the goodness of the units and showcasing those units and how good they are. Now when you don't focus on it, people think it doesn't look as good. So it's the change in behavior. Longer term, we think this will simply be a, a blip on the whole uh, stock chart. But we do think it's a near-term negative. People will say they're trying to hide things. As we look back in future quarters, we think it will be, oh yeah, people adjusted those expectations. But near term, a lack of disclosures has typically view been viewed as a company trying to divert attention or hide things.